right, guys, it's pretty windy out here. We're out here with Mr. I didn't do it this time. Mr. Dirt Perfect on some, well, there ain't no warranty left, so how's this work? I don't know. <laughs> this is YouTube warranty. YouTube warranty. <laughs> the warranty, warranty's long gone. It's not all, it's the warranty's <laughs> back. It's only, it's only no warranty if it's attached. That's right. So what we got going on? Well, so people think I'm drunk because I can't plow a straight line. <laughs> That's about normal. Isn't it? <laughs> but the, but the issue is not me; it's the machine. It, it, it really like I think it belongs in NASCAR. It wants to go left. Wanting to go left. Yeah, it, it's looking for. It's wanting to go left. And that's on a real long. Wall. Yeah, we never noticed it. Just short pushing. Okay. Uh, but get out here running these long tile lines. It's uh, yeah. It, like I said, it's it's looking. It's, it wants to run Daytona. Like you know, it just. Well, we'll get her warmed up. It probably needs a recalibrator, speed sensors in the those track motors back here, and hopefully one of them's just out of sync a little bit. Because I never calibrate when come in, because it worked fine. We just in short pushes. Well, and, so. and we never really noticed it until we started running that plow, yeah, running plow. Because so. then you're traveling long distance. Yeah, you know, you're like pulling hard on it too. And short pushing there, it, 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 it don't vary enough that you notice it. Right. Anyways. All right. I'm glad I got the expert on the job. Well, we'll see. Clint says, hey. <laughs> You can try to do it yourself, but I'm like, hey, that's probably a really bad idea. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you can hear us real good out there. Um, so what this dozer's doing, it's actually tracking to the left a little bit, Mike says. So I'm going to take it, run it a little bit, and get the transmission oil all warmed up on it. You've got all these gizmo gadgets in here. They're pulling that plow. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure it's um, reading RPMs on those uh, track motors. It's an engine RPM. Left motor is reading 560. We're reading on both track motors, so we know the speed sensors are working. We're going to take it out here and run it a little bit and uh, get the uh, transmission oil all warmed up in it. So. We need to get up to about 140 before we uh, start trying to calibrate it. So we've got some stumps over here we're going to shove across the field to get her warmed up.
So we're gonna go back over here and find a nice level spot and I'll walk you guys through the calibration. All right guys, we're gonna calibrate this. Uh, this is an 850J. This calibration will be the same for an 850 or a 750J dozer. It's actually pretty similar to all the John Deere dozers, but this actual calibration will just be for those uh, those two dozers, 750 and 850J. So first thing you gotta do, you, get, you gotta get your transmission oil heated up like I just done. I'm sitting over one, 140 degrees right now. Um, so there's four stages of this calibration. The first stage is going to be the sensor calibration. That's going to be your steering inputs and uh, your deaccelerator and your throttle. So your steering, you got forward and reverse. You've got steering to the right, steering to the left. Then when you come over, there's actually a stop right here. You go past that stop, that's what they're calling a the counter rotate. Basically one track goes forward, one goes the other way. So if the screen's going to pop up, it's going to say, like say, it might say left counter rotate. <clears throat> that's going to be left push it on over that's going to be counter rotate so that's what they're calling for so when you go to calibrate the steering left or right just the steering part you go to here when you go to calibrate you're going to go on over so you can mess up with that real easy too so so that's the first stage of calibration of the sensors second stage is going to be calibrating the pumps down below uh, you'll have to rev the engine all the way up and it, it actually will calibrate forward and reverse pumps the third one will be the uh, low speed so right now we're out in a big flat field out here we've got plenty of room to run it back and forth so the low speed's actually going to make it travel uh, forward and backwards at 1.5 and then after that it will do a high speed calibration so it's going to be run at 3.0 which is super fast um, forward and backwards so you got to make sure you got plenty of flat air another way you can do it too you can actually can jack the dozer up off the ground and just sit there and run the tracks up in the air and calibrate them that way too so I mean we've got a big flat field out here we're going to do that so the first thing in any of these deer machines you've got to unlock the uh unlock the menu here so if you hold this menu button down for like five seconds it should beep at us so it beeped it says service mode there so we're going to go on down to um calibration number five right here we're going to select that i hit select one more time you'll hear the fan kick on there letting you know it's going in calibration so right now it says put park lever down to continue calibration put that down and also we got the red light there for the calibration mode now it's saying fully depressed desail pedal all the way to the floor so we're going to push it all the way down to the lower stop now it's telling us to raise it all the way up now it's telling us to push this transmission speed button all the way down now it's telling us to push it all the way up now it's saying slowly steer to the right detent, do not counter rotate. So we're going to go over here to this detent, stop there. Now it says to go to the left, stop there. No steer position it says. Now it says to steer right to the mechanical stop. So we're going to pull this dude all the way over until it completely stops. Past that detent. Now we're going to go to the left. It says no steer position. Now it's going to say move to forward against the mechanical stop, so go back to neutral, and we're going to go to reverse against the mechanical stop. Go back to neutral now. So now it's saying to push the desail pedal all the way down to the first stop position. So it's kind of like a detent in here like the steering pedal. So we're going to push it down to that first stop and we'll raise it all the way up. Now we're going to rotate the engine speed controller all the way to the full all the way low so you want to be real you know smooth on these controls too nothing erratic so we're going to press next hopefully it passes if it don't pass you got to go back through and see so we passed we got to uh set our engine speed at wide open we got to move the forward neutral lever to forward so right now it's going to calibrate those pumps so what I was saying about this uh, sensor calibration, you want to move everything nice and smooth and not be jerky with it because it's actually um, measuring like a low voltage in there. So if you're jerky or slammed to get something, it could be erratic and throw it off. So it'll take a few minutes to go through this pump calibration. It's basically calibrating the forward and uh, reverse side, front and back pumps. So if, it, if you fail any of these calibrations in this, actually kick it out 
and we'll throw a code up and then you gotta go back through and see what that code is and uh, actually fix that system before you can go on any further so if it failed that sensor test we'd have to go back adjust that sensor there's adjustments on all these sensors steering controls and all that stuff they have to be in a certain range and you can actually go on the screen here and, and read live values on all these um, different sensors here and you can get them adjusted you don't have to have any special John Deere computer to adjust all stuff nice thing about these 750s and 850s you can do a lot of stuff through the dash on these so but there's a section there to read all that stuff so we're on the stage two calibrating that pump so if any of these calibrations failed that means the PCPs on the pump would actually have to be um, adjusted so there's a spool valve in each one of those pumps and they have to be sitting there in a neutral position so if they're out they've got more pressure on one side than they do the other they'll be off balance a little bit so they got to be within uh, between 0 and 5 psi so the forward section is calibrated it's telling us to return to neutral right now we go to neutral now we got to do the reverse side so those spools have to be have almost equal pressure on both sides if you get more than uh, 5 psi it will kick it out in the computer you have to go down under the floorboards raise the cab up Put, a, put some gauges on there and get those spools centered up where there's less than 5 psi pressure differential on each side so hopefully we pass this section here the next section will be the low speed calibration it's doing the left hand bump right now in reverse the MA stands for milliamps there's basically a coil underneath there that uh, it's measuring that voltage on right now the uh, reverse done is telling us to put it back in neutral and press next to save looks like that saved and passed we're good there we're going to press the speed button up to 1.5 all right now we're going to move forward the dozer's going to take off got to make sure there's nobody around so it's going to calibrate the low speed of the uh, tracks to make sure it drives straight here so i'm not doing anything Tell us to go back to neutral. It should tell us to go to uh, reverse now. Back it up. Back to neutral. We should have to save this. Yep. We passed that one. Now we're going to go in high speed. We're going to bump this dude all the way up wide open. She's going to take off, so we got to make sure everybody's out of the way. We're going. Calibrate everything. four stages of calibration there so we're going to take it uh, and run it here and see if it's still uh, hopefully it's tracking straight now so before it was pulling to the left uh, going in forward and reverse so it seems a lot better now I can tell it's tracking straight backing up earlier it was uh, turning so should be all good to go make sure we don't have any codes that popped up no active codes forward here and make sure it's tracking straight. I know Mike said it was done at low speed it was uh, kind of tracking Oh, 
So I think we got them all fixed up. Everything's working uh, good. It seems to be tracking straight again. So we're basically kind of resetting those uh, speed sensors, telling it to uh, go straight again. So I was going to show you guys um, on the live values and go down to number four, the input voltages. You can actually see these numbers on that first speed of that or first section of that calibration. Like you watch the speed button, I'm going to move it up and down. You see those voltages change there? That's the voltages it's looking for. So right now I'm all the way in the high speed. So I know they're supposed to be sitting uh, around that, uh, you know, 1000 mark. It's sitting at nine something. And the other way, they should be up around three. You see it's 3.088. So same with the steering. When I move the steering, you see those numbers change? So that's what that first section of calibration is doing. We go to forward. It's going to tell us all those different voltages and ranges. And your book will have the settings for what those are supposed to be. But if any of those are off and it fails that first calibration, you can go into the input voltage section and you can actually adjust these sensors where you get that setting where they're supposed to be. So I think Mike's all, uh, all good on everything right now. So we're going to turn it over to him. 
All right, Mike, I think we got you all fixed up. I, I got no, you driving straight I now. I had no doubts, buddy. Yeah. We got, we got the masters getting ready to go in. He'll, yeah, uh, uh, he'll let us know for sure. So. He's back to work. Did you get, so Jerry got the dozer stuck twice yesterday. What's the first question he asked you? What's that? You said you got it fixed. He said, so oh, no, it won't get stuck Don't no get stuck, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you got it stuck. It I is know. soft out here. But. I've been trying to get him stuck on camera for four years. And you and got, got him. Twice yesterday. I'm surprised he didn't leave. Well, then he turned around and stuck himself in the tree and broke the windshield wiper. Oh, my. <laughs> he's off his game. He's, he's just getting warmed up. So. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he's opening the door. Yeah, it's like 30 down. degrees out here. <laughs> he's complaining about the dirty windows. I thought he's going to open the door up. It's a little too cold for that today. So. Well, Clint, man, I appreciate it. All right. Thanks a million. I'll have to go watch the video to see how you did it now. Yeah, yeah, I kind of did it. It's kind of a how to video. If anybody's got a 750 or 850, watch it. Luckily, we didn't have no issues. So, yeah. if you guys like his stuff, definitely give me a thumbs up. It helps out. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks, man.